Hello. Thought I would read today's devotion from Journey into Grace before I head out to package meals for our school delivery. And the one I selected for today is entitled, Thy Will Be Done, and it was written by Bonnie. The focal verse is Matthew 26, 39. He went on a little farther and bowed with his face to the ground, praying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Hers is a story so many of us can relate to. The loss came only a few short months after becoming aware of the new life that grew within her. She learned that a little one that had been asked for, had been prayed for, would not be born. Hilary Scott of the hit trio Lady Annabellum worked with two fellow songwriters to put her grief into words and song, bringing her raw, honest pain and questions to God. When she grappled with her loss, bad feelings, and her conflicting confidence that God was good, she could only come up with the words from Jesus' own prayer right before he went to the cross. Thy will be done. Scott explained, Having things that go on in your life you think are going to be really awesome, and then all of a sudden it feels like the carpet is ripped out from under you. I've prayed about something in my life and felt like God had answered that prayer, and then the way in which it was answered looked a lot differently than I thought it would. I was questioning and confused and all the while knowing, though, that ultimately his will is what's best. I love Scott's poignant song because it reminds me that I can take pain that makes no sense, a broken heart, and even questions about God himself and his word straight to the lap of my heavenly father. We see Jesus' own example of pleading with his father to remove the pain of the cross. Our father has given us invitations in the Psalms to express sorrow from Psalm 137, disappointment and rejection in Psalm 74, anger in Psalm 140, despair in Psalm 22, and depression, Psalm 88. He is big enough for it all, and he welcomes us. Our reflection question, have you been able to take your painful questions to God and yet say, thy will be done? Let's pray. God, we thank you that you are God and we are not. We thank you that you welcome our sorrow, our disappointment, our rejection, anger, despair, and even our depression. Father, we pray that you would gently bring us to a point in our lives of welcoming, you, welcoming your will for our life, even when we don't understand. Help us to trust and to seek your will. And Father, we pray for those doing research to look for treatments and vaccines for this COVID-19. We pray for all those working in hospitals and taking care of those affected, as well as essential workers that uh, work in places that provide things that we need to sustain life. We ask that you would uh, give them strength and endurance and your protection. In Jesus' name, amen. And of course, after I post today's devotional, in the comments, I'll also post a link to Hillary Scott's song in which they referred. So I hope you have a blessed day and a wonderful week.